Similar to the Object Styles window, but subtly different, is the eyedropper tool. And if I select that and click on this white type, it immediately picks up a lot of the attributes that you can see here and probably one or two that you can't. For example, if I now try and apply it to this type here, and if I only wanted to apply it to that one word, I'm out of luck because I didn't check the attributes. So let's do that. Incidentally, before I do that, if I had an object like this selected and I chose the eyedropper tool and innocently clicked on this white type thinking to come and apply it down here, as soon as I click on it, it applies some of the attributes to this object. So make sure you don't have anything selected when you start playing around with the eyedropper tool. Now I'll double click on it and let's see what kind of things we've got that might be getting in the way. Well, the most obvious thing that it was doing to this block of text, it was applying the effect I wanted for one word to the entire paragraph. So I'm going to just uncheck paragraph settings. Let's try that. Now if I click on this type and click and drag here, that's better, but it still made it smaller and changed the letting. So again, there's something not quite right. Let's zoom in on this so we can see what's going on. So there we go. It changed a lot of things, letting, size, and so on. And I don't really want that to happen. I just want this type to change color and maybe change to this font. So let's go back and have another look here. Character settings. Okay, font, I think I want that, but size I don't want, letting I don't want, character style I don't want. Let's see what happens now. So I'll click on the type and click and drag on that word. And all it did was change the font and the color. So now it's gil light instead of gil bold, and it's white instead of black. And if I get the type tool, and click and drag across that whole lot, you can see up here in the size field and the letting field, because it's not blanked out, it means there's just one size and one letting characteristic applied to this entire block. So the eyedropper tool kind of allows you to apply a character style, but it's actually allowing you to pick up certain characteristics from one object and apply them to another.